Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be showing you what I've been really enjoying in February and March because I didn't do a favourites last month. So I've got a few products that have really caught my eye, I've really been loving and just added into my routine. So yeah, that's what today is going to be about. I don't know whether to start with skincare or makeup first. I have a bit more makeup to show so maybe I'll start with that. Okay so the first product is a product that I think was probably like one of the most exciting products for me this month and it is the Rose Ink Tinted Serum. Now I've spoken a bit about this on my Instagram, haven't featured it on my YouTube I don't think but I will definitely do a video on these or including these because they are so phenomenal. Honestly I've never tried a product like this before it's literally a serum with like pigment balls in there <laughs> basically comes out like this and then you blend it and it's quite literally a serum with tint in so it's a very lightweight doesn't feel like anything on the skin and I featured it in my clean makeup for um, acne skin video it's got a very fine sheer tint to it it's not really for coverage it's more for you know the glow and just evening out a bit but it's not really for concealing but it performs so well on my skin even though I have some discoloration some redness I still love to use it so yeah this has been like my go-to for everyday breathable realistic <laughs> everyday makeup this is very exciting I'm usually the shade 0.6 um, I do have two this is 0 0.5 bit too light for me this one is like literally perfect but yeah these have been my grab and go for makeup so I'm very excited to start off this video with them now the second product is a similar concept to the rose ink but nothing alike at the same time it's another base product that I actually rediscovered in my makeup I had it in there just never looked at it never understood what it was and I used it and was like wow like why have I not used this before? And it's the Estee Lauder Day Wear um, Sheer Tint Release Moisturiser. Again, the concept is very much moisturiser with pigment. It's not a tinted moisturiser where it's combined and it's literally foundation almost. <laughs> this is literally a moisturiser with pigment. Um, similar concept, it comes out white and you can kind of see the pigment balls in there and the more you rub it in it releases the pigment. I will say it's much thicker than the rose ink. The rose ink is so fine like sheer in the coverage, sheer in the consistency, the finish, everything. This is much more of a moisturizer with tint so if your skin is a bit drier maybe this will be nice but I was very impressed with how this made my skin look. My skin, I'm going to insert a picture if I can find one of when I wore it. My skin looked so phenomenal and it looked like that all day. Didn't like lead or anything like that it was very much a flawless finish all day and I have to say like I think I preferred this over a tinted moisturizer for more everyday even though tinted moisturizers are supposed to be everyday friendly I think sometimes they can still be a bit too much whereas these two are literally what I would use every day. So yeah, if you're still in that feeling of even tinted moisturizers are a bit too heavy, then those two products are so good. The next one is another base product and this is much more full coverage. This is actually a foundation and I featured it like three times already on my YouTube. It's the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Now if you saw my last video with my friend, she doesn't really like dewy finishes. I really love dewy finisher so this is very much me this is skincare in foundation dew like hydration everything in there so this is literally me if I was a foundation if you like that glow or that just like luminous finish this is so perfect and I'm going to insert another picture of what my skin looked like when I used it for the first time but yeah this is very much a foundation compared to the other two I do prefer it over the sheer glow I feel like it's much more lightweight it's watery almost so it's very um breathable my skin still so that's why I prefer it to the sheer glow but yeah this has been such an exciting launch for me and I'm very excited to see if they come out with any more base products during the year but um yeah I'm not gonna talk too much because I've spoken about this foundation a lot already so I'm just gonna leave it here. Now usually products that don't really excite me are primers but I do actually have one that I have been really liking and it's the Hourglass Vanish Primer and I must say that I'm quite skeptical when it comes to like airbrush primers because how much can I actually do but this primer is very good at creating that airbrush look and especially now because 
I can kind of see my pores around my T-zone, I never used to be able to. So I've been particularly self-conscious about um, my T-zone because I look at it and I can see and I don't really like it. So I've been using this under most of my bases if I'm wearing kind of a heavy base and it's phenomenal. So I'm very impressed with Hourglass. It is a very like lightweight um, silicone gel kind of feel. Uh, very hydrating still so I do really like it for my oily slash dry slash combination skin so yeah i'm very impressed with that primer and i'm very surprised i actually even have a favorite primer <laughs> this next product isn't a new product it's just one that i've fallen in love with again and it's the say Dew balm i used to use this all the time and i just stopped because as with everything you know you get new things and you just kind of push old things to the back but i did a video and i use this again and i have forgotten how much I loved it. It's so good. It's so, um, it's so perfect at creating that skin glow from within. It's another one that you have to kind of work in because it is quite a thick balm. So you just need to melt it a bit on your hand. A blush I've been loving is the Honest Beauty um, Cream Cheek Blush, especially in the shade Rose Pink. This shade is so gorgeous. It's like a really nice pinky tone. The consistency is very nice as well. I realise with blushes I do prefer more of a dewy kind of finish. I don't really like the matte vibe, even though sometimes I do use them. I do ultimately prefer like a dewy blush. Not wet, but one that just looks like, you know, skin and just wet. <laughs> so yeah, I really love this. I do love a lot of Honest Beauty beauty products. I think they're a very good makeup brand. And then the final makeup product is one that isn't new again. It's just one that I've been using again. And it's the Fenty Beauty Heat. Now I never used to like this and I don't actually remember why I didn't like it, but I started using it again and it is the most gorgeous colour. It looks really aggressive in the bottle, but it's really not. Um, it creates such a lovely tint to your lips and it's got like a plumping effect too so it kind of plumps your lips up which is always good <laughs> yeah you can see how the bottle's very deceiving it's a really loud like pinky red but it's not so much in person or when you actually wear it so i really do like it for just everyday use yeah that's my final makeup product that i've been loving now on to skincare okay so for skincare this has been quite an underwhelming month or two for skincare for me because i've got a few favorites but nothing crazy i think the next month is when i'll have more to say because i have a lot of new products that i'm currently using that i'm probably going to feature in my next one so keep an eye out for that and also i am going to the gym now so i'll definitely have like gym skincare favorites too so I'm really looking forward to next month's favourites. <laughs> but yeah, to kickstart the skincare, I have a cleanser that I've been really liking. It's the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. This is a pre-cleanse, as the name suggests. Um, and basically, it's an oil that just melts away all the dirt and, like, makeup and stuff so that after you can cleanse with, like, your second cleanser, your foam cleanser. And I've really been liking this oil. I'm usually a balm kind of girl, but they're kind of the same concept because it melts into an oil anyway. But um, I really, really do like this. It has like a citrus smell to it. So if you're not too um, fond on smells, maybe you might not want to get this. But I really, really like that smell. It's kind of like a clean smell and I really like feeling clean and smelling clean but it also does a very good job at melting everything away i've been using it after the gym um to just like clear out my skin and get rid of the sweat and the dirt um and it's done a very good job so i am very happy with this cleanser i am very excited to keep using it and see how it works with my skin the more i go to the gym but yeah, this has been a very, very nice addition to my cleansing routine. The second product is a mask that I've been really loving that I haven't really found anything like before. And it's the Skin Seeds Cause Photo Corrective Mask. I think that's how you say it. Um, this mask is the perfect mask for post-gym or post anything that feels like you don't need to put on a thick mask. You just need like a little something that's not a mask, but also not a cream like i don't know if that makes sense sometimes you have that in between that you just don't want to do too much and that's where this mask comes in this is perfect for i read online it says sun exposure post gym post any kind of irritation you put this on and it kind of calms down your skin and i usually use it post gym like once or twice a week um that's usually when i use it i don't really have 
sun exposure or irritation because we don't get sun in the UK but I can imagine on holiday I probably will take this um, but yeah post gym it does a very good job of calming down my skin my skin gets very irritated around my t-zone I don't know why um, so I just apply a bit of that it's a very cooling light gel and it smells really nice as well but yeah it's just been that unique product for me that I feel like I've needed but haven't found so I'm very happy to have found this mask. This next product is one that I use on the go. I keep it in my car for my dry skin when I'm feeling a bit dry, you know, pre-gym or post-gym or like in general when I'm feeling a bit dry. It is the Dr. Jart Cream Mist. Now this range is so good. Like you've probably seen people talk about it, but it's genuinely such a good range. I love their moisturizer. Their moisturizer as well is one of my favorites. But this cream mist is just really good at moisturizing your skin but not to the point where it's like a moisturizer it's not heavy like a moisturizer but it's just enough if you know what i mean for example pre-gym i don't do any skincare i just wash my face with water because i'm going to cleanse after the gym so i don't want to wash my face three times so yeah i just wash it with water and sometimes my skin still feels very dry so i just apply a bit of this on my way and it's just enough moisturizer to moisturize my skin but not like feel heavy or like I've got skincare on if that makes sense and I do use it on my arms as well sometimes when they get a bit dry but yeah this mist has been a phenomenal addition to my routine it's just filled in like the gap in my routine that I had where I just needed something something in there to just like zhuzh up my skin a bit without it feeling dry and crusty <laughs> in the morning <laughs> now a nighttime product that I have been using it's not a new product I think it also went viral on TikTok a while ago, but I've just been late to the trend. It is the La Roche Posay um, Unclogging Care Corrective Anti Imperfections Moisturizer thing that they have. I saw a lot of people talk about this product, and I actually had it before, but I just gave it away to my friend because I just never read into it. But then I got it again and I started using it, and it has been such a phenomenal addition to my acne routine at night it's very lightweight so i must say it's not a moisturizer for me it's almost like a pre-moisturizer and then i'll go in with my normal moisturizer because it's still not enough hydration for me but it very much like if i have a breakout like a severe breakout i'll put it on the area i don't really put it all over my face because i think it has like salicylic and stuff and i don't really want to do it all over I just put it where my concerns are which at the moment is everywhere <laughs> but um and then I'll wake up and it's not immediately gotten rid of like any irritation or spots or whatever but I can definitely see that it calms down my skin significantly and you know with repeated use I've noticed that it does really like even out my skin and it controls the oils around my nose as well and my nose has been like a problem area at the moment and I don't wake up as oily in the morning so those are key um, differences that I've been noticing with this moisturizer so I've been absolutely loving this and I've recommended it to a lot of people so hopefully they get on with it just as much as I do but yeah I'm sure a lot of people have used this because this is a very popular products. Now the final skincare product is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacinamide Drops. This is again not a new product but I've just been late to it. I have seen this all over TikTok firstly. TikTok has loved this especially the toner as well and the moisturizer. It's like a set. They've been raving about these products so I finally use this because niacinamide is very good for acne skin. I just never used it. But I started using this and again it controls my oils very nicely. It's got a really nice smell to it. I know sometimes people are a bit funny with the smells but I really like the smell of it. And you know I love a dewy finish as we all know but I also have acne. It creates a really nice dewy finish but it's not oily. You know when you have acne there's a fine line of looking oily and looking dewy. And especially when you have acne people know that you have oily skin so it just looks like you're just overproducing oil so you don't want to do that but this doesn't do that so that's good for me yeah i love to use this in the morning after i've used my hyaluronic and sometimes i see people use it like on top of their makeup for that dewy finish just as i would use the say balm people use this the exact same way just like on top some people even mix it 
with their foundation so one day I might even try that so yeah this has been a really really nice product so yeah guys those have been my favorites for February and March and I can tell you that April's favorites is going to be phenomenal it's going to be so good because the products I'm currently using I don't still much but I'm just gonna count this as April the products I'm currently using are life-changing and you know I've been getting a lot of compliments on my skin so keep your eye out on that and I will do another one every month. I'll try to, maybe every two months, every month. Don't know if I have enough products to do it every month, but who knows, I'll try. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.